The Walking Dead Season 2 is a game all about making choices, but on this channel, there is only one choice, and that is to always go with the worst one possible. And this game lets you make some terrible choices. Let me show you. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. It's good to see Kenny hasn't changed since the last time I saw him. He's still as calm as ever. And I'm going to say nothing to defuse the situation. Shit! Fucking grab something! Wait, where the hell did they come from? Why do zombies always show up at the worst times? This plank is not helping whatsoever. Why did I have to grab the worst weapon in the room? This has now turned into a chase from Scooby-Doo and to make things even worse, I'm now stuck. Of course, I get out of it somehow. Oh wait, I'm not out of it yet. I should have known there was more to come. And it wouldn't be The Walking Dead if I didn't at least fall once during an episode. Also, you can't forget about the button mash, there always has to be one of them too. Wait, where did we get the crossbow from? Oh, it's you. I was thinking to myself there, there's no way they would trust Kenny with a crossbow. Oh, thank God you're okay. Yeah, no thanks to you. A little help would have been appreciated. I do not feel safe walking next to this fence after that happening. I was more expecting to get grabbed from the other side of the fence, not this side though. Ah, ah, stop, hey, it's me. I know, that's why I bit you. Just hit him, finish the job off. Hey, hey, what was that for? Aw, I was hoping it would have been a proper hit right on the chin. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> he spent days getting here, and I can just say I have to go immediately. I have to go. Troy will be looking for me. Uh, what? Even he's confused. He's like, you can't be serious. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time, because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I'll think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. The hell are you doing? I'm just not going to answer him to make it look even more suspicious. Jesus Christ, you're as stupid as Sarah. That's the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. Oh look, it's that other guy from 400 Days. I can't remember his name though. I didn't even have to say anything there, she's just crying at the mere sight of me, and to be honest, I don't blame her. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. How? What's so different about that chair? It just looks like the exact same one I'm sitting on. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. I'm really playing with fire there. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? Oh wait, he liked that? Maybe me and you aren't so different after all. It's not your baby, it's Alvin's. I just had to say something worse. I wasn't leaving this office until I insulted him at least once. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. I love how every time Kenny comes back into the scene, he's always complaining about something. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. I don't know how they know anything about Luke. I was avoiding every option to tell them. He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. Of course, the game just had to find a BS way to progress the story. Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. I always prefer Kenny's plans. They always involve a lot of danger. Yeah, let's go with drawing a herd of walkers towards the camp. I'm doing everything I can to avoid getting Luke that radio. Getting Luke the radio is helpful whatever we end up doing. It doesn't hurt to have more information. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. No, Kenny, don't agree with them. Fine, I guess we have to get the radio then. Why is it always me who has to do everything? I just said no to them, and here I am on my way to doing it. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. <sighs> I never even bothered to grab anything there. They 100% would have heard that. I'm just trying to go out the exit and leave the rest of the group, but the game won't let me. I wouldn't figure that. Never got used to a light buzzing 
or anything? There's no way she never saw me there. I was right in front of her. How have these people managed to capture us? I don't know how they wouldn't notice two of these radios are missing. There only is like four radios and I've just took half of them. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Oh wait, it's another guy from 400 Days. I love how they are all making an appearance after playing it. Well? Just pretend I don't know what they're talking about. Well, what? Did you get- Imagine I just forgot to get the radios. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. Can you be quiet, please? Some of us are trying to sleep. All right, we're all here. Well, I don't know where any of us could go. We are prisoners after all. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Wait, what? Someone else finally says they'll do something and you're making me do it again? No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? You see, this is why Mike should do it. He's more expendable than me. He wants an answer, so I'm just going to say nothing. You have your pockets all out. There's Kenny doing his Skyrim NPC impression again. Look how proud he is as well, and that's so obvious they would see that. She's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Kenny, just making it even more obvious we're up to something. And why does everyone keep hitting me? You know you can talk to me, right? Yeah, I know. I just choose not to. Go on, back out and be with Kenny. Oh, good. She's finally taken the hint, and all I had to do was ignore her several times. Wait, who was that sneaking round the corner watching me? I'm not even going to bother shouting for Luke. I'll just stand here awkwardly instead. Oh no, Troy has just walked in. I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this. I was- And I get hit again. Okay, maybe I deserve that one. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? So that's why Luke wasn't there. He's been caught. So I got the walkie-talkies I didn't want to get for nothing. I'm going to count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. Well, it looks like I'm saying nothing then. It's right here. I got it. Why did you have to be a hero, Kenny? I was prepared to sacrifice the group. <laughs> okay, maybe it's better Kenny spoke up. That could have been me. Stop him! Somebody stop him! <laughs> Stop! Clementine! Help me! I've never helped you before, and I'm not about to help you just now. I think I'll help Kenny, just because I don't like being told what to do. <laughs> okay, that's what I get for being so stubborn. <sighs> if that was anyone else who took that beating, I'm pretty sure they would be dead. But because it's Kenny, I'm sure he'll pull through. I'm just lying there, acting all dramatic, like my injuries are worse than Kenny's. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. Who put you in charge? You weren't on our side until like two minutes ago. Uh, ow. Dang it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. These injuries are too severe. Look, everyone's crying for me. That was some beating I took. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe... Leaving some folks behind. Yeah, Sarah will just weigh us down. Oh, you mean Kenny? Right, I knew that's what you meant. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. See, I knew Kenny would be fine. He's been through worse. And mostly from me causing it. And we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. I love how everyone just looks at me. Fine, I'll do it. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. Yeah, I'll be sure to remember that. Wait, which button does what? You know what? I'll just wing it. Wait, I actually have the option for her to tell me again. Can you tell me again? You gotta set off the PA system in Carver's office. That's brilliant. Only one bullet. Cool, I found a revolver. Only one bullet. I guess I could use it if Sarah gets in my way. Oh, I was only going to turn on the indoor speakers, but the game won't let me. Wait, how did they react so fast? I literally just turned the speaker on. 
Look, they're up at the office already. There's no way they could run that fast. You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. They've been caught already. How is everyone else so useless? <laughs> Damn it, I was aiming for Sarah and I only had one bullet as well. Just shoot him. Let's end this already. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... <laughs> Thank God we never left Kenny behind. The rest of you are so boring. Go on and wait outside. I actually feel safer in here with Kenny than out there with all the walkers we've probably drawn. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yep, and I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. I have absolutely ruined Clementine. She is a complete psychopath now. Okay, Kenny, I think he's dead. Yep, he's definitely dead. Like, I think he's been dead for a good five minutes now. I will say, Kenny has some stanima. Like, I would have been exhausted after a few swings. We wasted so much time there. We've just given the zombies so much time to gather. I hope we don't have to run. Kenny must have zero energy left. This is just proof that children copy what they see. Now I'm just doing exactly what I just watched Kenny do. It's going to make me smear Sarah, but I don't want to. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Well, there's plenty to fear then, because there's no way she's remaining calm. They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? Yeah, this is quite an awkward sight to walk out to. All of us just covered in zombie guts. Troy, we talked about this. What do you mean, talked about what? I'm so confused right now. There was no sign he was a traitor. Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- Ow, right in the crotch. That's a low blow, pardon the pun, but even I wouldn't shoot a man in the crotch. Oh great, as if we weren't already in enough danger, now we have to dodge zombies and bullets. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. I am not her friend. I have been nothing but a dick to her the whole time I've known her. Oh my god, see, I knew as soon as I seen those bullets it was going to end badly. Okay, now the plan has went to shit. Everyone has just started fighting all of a sudden. All hell has broken loose and I'm going to say nothing. I'm sticking to the plan. If she dies, then that's on her. Of course she gets away and leaves us to deal with the mess as per usual and now even I have to abandon the plan. Oh no, Sarita has been bitten. Why is it always people close to Kenny who get killed? Wait, I'm close to Kenny? I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm the main character after all. I'm going to hack off her arm even though I know it does nothing after watching Lee do the same thing and still turning anyway. But what am I going to do? Not hack off her arm when the game gives me that option. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to see more of The Walking Dead, I suggest you watch this video next. And thank you to all the Patreons who continue to support the channel.